It's Billy's Vlogs. Morning guys, I'm going off for my cycle now. I don't want to be distracted so I won't be taking any clips this morning of that. But I will be coming home to bring Gigi for a walk. So I shall see you then. Bye bye. Back cycle now, it's quarter to eight. Heading off with Gigi for a walk. So I'll see you down the park guys. Bye bye. Just been to town now and I'm just chilling out with my grannies for a while and then I'm gonna go head down home, get something to eat. The time is just gone past um, 12 o'clock so it's just coming on to 20 past 12 and that is it so far guys. Um, yeah, see you later, bye. Just in the door now, letting the dogs out the back and I have to hang a few bits up on the line. Um, before that though, uh, well, I'm gonna do that first and then I'm going to get something to eat and have a rest because I haven't eaten yet and the time is literally 25 minutes until two o'clock. So I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna have a rest. I've no energy left. So I'll talk to you guys after that. Sorry, bye. Guys, I feel so lazy right now. Like in fairness though, like I was over 20 past 7. Well, 10 past 7. Went off my cycle at 20 past. Got back here and went for a walk to the park. Was down in the park for a quarter to 8. And went for my walk. Got back here at quarter past eight so I was like nearly exercising basically for a full hour and then came home uploaded my video that it's on right now my haul video uploaded that 
edited it and uploaded it, went for a shower, came back out from the shower, of course, and went downstairs. I had another cup of coffee and... Oh, well then, I, when the video was uploaded, I went straight downstairs, got back up on the bike and went over town and cycled from from here, obviously, to town and then from town up to my granny's house. And then I was in my granny's house for two hours and came back home and that was the first time I ate, so I had no energy, my body had no, nothing to feed off for energy. So I didn't need till like two o'clock, which... Well, quarter to two, say. Which is not good, and I didn't plan on that. And... Came to bed. So, now I have to do the daily chores, which is kind of mostly done. There's only a few little things to do, is just to wash up the cups from this morning. I play from this morning, well, this afternoon. And I might bring in some coal for even though it's like a hundred degrees outside. So let's just bring it in for tomorrow because it's supposed to be raining tomorrow. And oh, put the fire on, but I'm not going to do that now because it's really hot. And look at that filling. <laughs> and um. What else is so <gasps> Oh, so slow. Bring the two bits of clothes in off the line. And... Make the dinner. Supposed to yesterday, but we ended up getting... Cheeky chicken nuggets for dinner and chips. Yeah, so I'm making the dinner for dinner. Cause so tired. Like days like this, I feel so lazy. But when you think about it, like all I did this morning, you know. Oh, my gum looked diseased there for a minute. What did you get up to this beautiful Monday? Well, it's Monday for me, but what did you get up to yesterday? What did you get up to? Let me know in the comments below. And I shall see you. I'll see you later. So, um, uh, you know how tired I was like half an hour ago? Yeah, because it's quarter past five now. Um, I have put a banana bread in the oven. Bruh. Yeah, I have banana bread in the oven. I have the fire cleaned out, the coal brought in, and I also have the dishes washed and the pan. So I cook the dinner around six. Cause mom will be home for like seven, so I'll cook the dinner around six. And it's quarter past five now, so I have 45 minutes to kind of just chill. So my timer just went off for the cake, well, the bread. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going down checking on it. It is currently 5.30 um, p.m. And we'll get to see if the... Whoa. I think she's done. Gotta take her out. Test her. Um, yeah, it's currently 5.30 p.m. And um, I don't know... With that, well, I put the fire on now because it's quite chilly in the house, and and there's the timer on the cooker. Oh, I gotta stick a knife or something in. Sticking the fork in, and it came out clean. That's just banana. Yeah, so that is done. I gotta take it out, put it on the wire rack.
Yeah, so I think I might put on a small fire right now. Sorry about the noise, guys. Yeah. Gonna put on a small little fire because it's cool inside. It is quite warm outside, but it is cold outside. I'm just gonna place you guys down here for one second until I turn out this bread. <laughs> Sorry about that. I need Shake, shake, shake the bread out, shake it all the time. Okay, I'm having a bit of difficulties here and it's not coming out, guys. It's not coming out, guys. Oh, got her. Oh, nice and clean, look. Well, it's not spotless, but it is clean. And there's my fabulous John Burger King, you know, the sickener himself. I'll show you the cake, guys. You coming in? I was just showing my friends the bread and Jock started barking. Come on then, inside now, come on. Who's bold? Who's being super bold today? Super duper bold. There's nothing special in it. This is the bread. Sorry about that, guys. Jock was being a little bit bold outside. It is a banana walnut bread. And I cannot wait. Guys, if you could only smell this, it actually smells delicious. So I'm going to go now and put on the fire. I feel like everything is an effort today. Like, everything feels like, oh, why do I even bother? <laughs> I bother because it's not going to get done if I don't do it. So yeah, I'm going to put on fire. And see you then. Maybe. Bye. So I've got the fire on now and... Um, oh, Billy, why did you do that? I always do it. Every time I put the oven on, I always think that I've got everything out of the oven. If, if it was a pan, um, a bacon tray, um, anything. Silly enough, I left the other cake tin in the oven, but it doesn't matter. It is obviously oven safe, so that's fine. Anywho, she, she's just eating her tea. Well, actually, it was her breakfast and she didn't finish it, so now she's finishing it. So, I wanted to ask you guys... Please, would you mind commenting on my video um, what age you are? And I know when I look up on my um, on YouTube and my studio thing, it tells me that the widest range of viewers that I have is from the ages of 18 to 24. But I know maybe some of you set up an account that you are older than you actually are, or you may be younger than you actually are. Um, please. Just comment down below your age. I don't need your name or whatever. I just want to know what age you are. Please, can you just do that one thing for me? I know I've got a good few followers. I've got 71 subscribers now. So guys, just comment down below and tell me what age you are. Because me and Gigi wants to know, don't we G? Don't we Gigi? She ain't hate me right now. Do me, me and you want to know what age our viewers are? Because it's mostly you in my vlogs all the time. Don't burp in front of them. You can't burp like that. That's naughty. It's rude. She burped in front of you guys. Straight into your faces. Be sure you're not the one sitting here smelling it. So it's fine. Doesn't smell that bad, though, does it, Gigi? Anyways, yeah. Comment your age down in the comment section. Because I want to know what age my viewers are. You know yourself. You'd like to know too if you were videoing yourself and people were watching it. Wouldn't you like to know what age they were? Yeah. So yeah, comment down below what age you are. And if you're male or female. That's all I want to know. And I know most people that watch me are female viewers. Anywho, but... Comment male 
or female and your age my vlog they're playing upstairs so yeah I'm going to start the dinner now in the next 20 minutes just chill out for 20 minutes so guys I have the dinner on the pan this is chicken some yellow pepper and some onion I've got the pasta going over here the kettle going for it to run over drain the pasta with and some chorizo Spanish sausage here and that is what I am making um, I'm going to put in some tomato pistachio over it um, putting in some creme fraiche to cream it up a bit the spices that I will be using are basil I only put a small bit of that in some sweet paprika a good bit of that and some chilli powder and because we don't have any garlic I'm putting in some chopped garlic powder and also some black pepper and some sea salt and tomato puree so that is it for the dinner this evening so guys that is all I will be doing today for this video vlog I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and don't forget to leave a comment down below Tell me what age you are guys and I might be doing comment shout outs in the next vlog if there is comments left and I will be doing shout outs if you don't want to be Shouted out um, to please just make sure you put that in the comments below also and Don't forget that I love you and I should see you tomorrow with another vlog